Good morning, everybody. It's Dan from the Headwaters Kayak Shop, and today we have our Pedal Palooza, which is basically a demo day where we're going to bring out a bunch of stuff for you guys to try out. I've got the Old Town, I've got the new Jackson Big Rig, I've got the Titan, I've got the Blue Sky with the Torquedo. We're just going to play with a bunch of boats today and bring you guys along. Let's get into it. I yeah, pulled into Lodi Lake expecting it to be all quiet, but they got all sorts of stuff going on. They got the open house, the docent center. I see a sea kayak lesson going on down there. There's our sea kayak crew out there. Second Saturday Skills Clinic. So they always have a nice group out here. Tom from our paddling club does a free clinic. So if you're ever wanting to get out here and check it out, uh, hit up the Lodi Paddle Club and learn more. So you guys have rigged up a new toy. This thing's ridiculous. <laughs> I got the Blue Sky Boatworks Angler 360. And that thing flies. I need to get a tiller extension still. So I'm not facing the back, but yeah, fun. So that is by far one of the more ridiculous things I've ever done to a kayak. <laughs> Stupid fun. I, uh, yeah, I hope it's not tournament legal. I'm not sure if it is. I know the, the boat itself is, and you can put trolley motors on it, but, but that thing seems like a little much. That would be an unfair advantage, no doubt. With that said, if I was just going out fishing, like, there's a spot up river I like to fish two miles and I like to get out before work. I'm totally going to use this thing, motor to my spot, get there, use the pedals, stand up and fish, move around my boat. It's an awesome, awesome setup and I'm super fired up to have it. But yeah, the question of it being tournament illegal, I don't know. I'll let you guys debate that. I'd love to see it go back to a little bit more human powered personally. But fun? Yes, indeed. My maiden voyage. Whoa. I think it's pretty damn wet. All right, so I'm gonna claim ignorance here. I've never messed with this drive, never had any formal instructions, so don't kill me in the comment section if I'm doing something wrong. Locked in, and uh, there's water in the cockpit, but hopefully these things will drain it out. These are Venturi scuppers, so it lets water out, but doesn't let water come back in. Which means, if the drive's down, you've got a great seal, a little dry compartment, which is nice, but with the drive up and me at 200 pounds, this thing is full of water. So let me stand up in this thing just to give it a feel. That yeah, feels pretty stable. Definitely nothing like a Titan, but I would say similar to my Slayer 10. Plenty stable to stand in for most folks. There, get another one over here, and then it's gonna be a two-handed job here. So yeah, fairly easy to get adjusted to position. A lot of room, even at 6'2", I still have plenty of leg room. And it moves through the water. Nice, the drive feels really good. Oh, the rudder, let's see here. We got a rudder control. I'm used to it being all deployed. Here we go, like this. Oh, I'm bungee. All right, let me go back. All right, Brian unhooked me here, and I believe this is a rudder deployment. There you go, drops right in. The boat feels really nice. The drive feels smooth, precise. Not bad, definitely better than some of the other drives I've felt. The rudder, it feels really stiff, like it takes a lot of effort to get it to move. It's responsive. I would say it's probably similar to a Slayer 10. Turns a nice circle for sure. There you go, it comes around. That part's nice. Uh, for 2,000 bucks, I definitely feel like it's a good buy. Not sure I would jump in this over a Slayer 10, but I would definitely paddle them back to back and compare if I was in the market. This is the part I don't get. Look at how much water. When I'm up and moving, uh, this thing is full of water. And the thing is, we fish a lot in the weeds. You guys can see probably the weeds in the water. As you're pulling this thing up and down all day long, expect to get wet, for sure. It's also our first time having these two boats side by side. Really similar, kind of like a big brother, little brother. It's a Kusa FD and the new Jackson Kayak Big Rig HD FD. You can see the overall width is so much bigger on the Big Rig. A lot more capacity, should have a lot more stability. But we'll get them both on the water and see how they move through the water. Big Rig HD FD, we first learned about this at ICAST this year. And uh, much anticipated, much awaited. Here we go. All right, stepping into the boat. <laughs> wow, the stability is r absolutely ridiculous. We got the drive here. You guys know how that works. You just flip the lever, pop that down in the water, and away we go. Oh man, wow. This thing feels big, feels smooth. Definitely my favorite upgrade from last year is these huge handles in clear direction. So if you go left, you push it left. If you want to go right, you pull it right. It does feel a little stiff. I hope that loosens up though. Smooth, but just 
a little more pressure than I would I'd like. But yeah, overall the stability feels huge, the, the openness in front of you, the rod troughs, it all feels really good. I think people are gonna like this one. Put this on your short list if you're looking at Titans, Pro Anglers, um, what other, uh, Predator MXers, or not MX, Predator uh, PDLs. Put this one on your short list, the new Jackson Kayak Big Rig FD. So I got Brian from Headwaters Adventure Company in the house, and he's a huge Hobie guy. He's uh, got his Outback down here for the trip today, but he wanted to check out the new Big Rig FD. I'm excited to hear your thoughts, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll pedal around a little bit. Let's go this way. <laughs> Poor kid must have not grown up with a bicycle. Let me try this out. I've actually never been in a compass, and uh, you know me, I rarely pedal Hobies, but now that we have Hobies in the riding shop, I figured it's high time I educate myself. Oh, and one of the other videos I did, I got a lot of grief about not knowing how to properly install these drives. Since then, I've taken some lessons, I've learned, Brian's been educating me, and I know that these things gotta clip in, you gotta go straight down. And the flippers have to be straight in order to use your forward and reverse. So right now we want reverse, pull the cord, the drive flips, a couple pumps, and we're leaving the dock. All right, here we go. Wow. There's no denying these Hobies have power. All right, flipping it forward. All right, it should be good to go now. <laughs> Brian's commenting on how weird it is to uh, do circulars. This feels weird to me, like I'm missing part of my stroke. But what I gotta say is, man, you pump and this thing moves. I also really like how the stern skids out. The understern steering on all the models, not just the Hobies, but the Natives, uh, the Jacksons, the understern rudder on a pedal drive just really seems to be the way to go. Overstern, it just slows down your rotation. You, oh, you could kick yourself out of this thing. This thing turns like a dream. Brian's playing in the blue sky. Again, we need a tiller extension on it, which we have on order, it just didn't come in yet. Look at that thing though. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's so, you could ski behind this thing. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely walk all around it. It's like a dock. It's just as stable as this. We're all getting carried away, having too much fun, trying all these different things, but uh, we're actually gonna go out for a paddle and uh, go down to the dam and then we'll come back and try some different stuff out. All right, so we're heading out now. We're finally going for our pedal. A uh, load I knew signal came out. They're doing articles. Native rep showed up and had to get his set up. So it took us a little time, but we are cruising. We're gonna go down to Woodbridge Dam and just show these guys around Lodi. We got guys from all over. We had dudes come down from Redding. We had guys come over from Pleasanton, um, Fresno. So we got a good crew today, rolling out. Smiling away. <laughs> you guys see the baby turtle? Look at that, so cute. <laughs> We're gonna give this FD drive a test on this shallow log here. Run into it. Yeah, it just bounces right over. Pop that back in place. It's so fun to get all these different boats out. We got Hobies, Jacksons, Natives, Old Towns. You name it, man. Everyone's out here on the water just having a good time, checking out our local waters. This is what it's all about. One thing I really love about this is how easy it is. Like, oh man, I feel like I got weeds. Okay, no problem. Boom. And you're back in action. Pretty sweet. Man, days like today, it's hard to not sell yourself on kayaking. This is January in California, and it is like 65, sunny, and absolutely gorgeous. No wind out here. It's all burnt off by like 10. Yeah. Sell you on Lodi if nothing else. Even if you don't buy a pedal drive, you'll come back here and hang out for sure. Just blast today. I really like the catamaran style. I feel like it cuts across the water a little easier than the big rig did. Man, we did not expect all this. Look at all these people showed up. Everyone's trying boats, hanging out, having a good old time. It's great. Brian dropped his phone in the water. So he's got to do the swim of shame. In the gunk. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna clean it out. It's got like three Come feet on. of guns. Let me do my thing. <laughs> All right, go for it. I'm already shivering. <laughs> You'll be fine. You are in the spotlight. You You'll be fine. I would take your shirt off though. Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll it'll warm up when it quits being cold. Thanks, Dan. No problem. That's so 
He's a philosopher. It's waterproof, man. All you got to do is go down there and get it, and all of a sudden you got your phone back. So much less hassle. Yeah, than that. except you might. Would you rather do this or go sit and like what sprint? If I don't find it, yeah, then exactly. I jump in. Oh, you'll nothing. find it. Every, we've never lost a phone down I mean, here, right? Phones, do you guys have we find probably four out of five. Yeah, four out of five phones. We have faith in I, I mean, but, yeah. I'm, I'm like a 60% guy. You, you just got to get in. I mean, that's a boring. Ready? Set. <laughs> January in California. What? Once your instinct to panic uh, goes away, you should be able to die, no problem. There you go. <laughs> it's so cold! It's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? No. Next time you'll get it for sure. So the weather's nice. You can see short sleeves, tank tops. But I tell you, it ain't that nice. Woo! <laughs> Not too far? I think I can do it. Alright. On your marks. Get set. Go. All right. Dude, you're not leaving me. <laughs> Everyone says how much faster it is, but it works. It works. Oh, but you're leaving me now. I think you're starting to go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Celebrate! You got the phone. Is it working? Yeah. All right. Go Samsung. All right, you guys. That's a wrap. I'm taking my new toy out for one more joyride. But we're ready to wrap it up for the day. Had an awesome day. Thank you guys for following along in the story. We'll be back at it next week. All right, so we made it back to the shop. It got carried away. We had so many people, so many questions, and I was just bouncing around like a pinball machine. But we had such a fun day. Thank you guys, everyone who came out and supported it. Almost everyone there was fans of the channel, heard about us through YouTube. So if you're watching this, thank you guys so much for the support. We love doing this. We love the community that we're creating. And we thank you guys so much for supporting it. Uh, if there's anything else that you'd like to see or events you'd like to participate in, maybe we do a subscriber meetup. Let me know in the comment section. Let's make some magic happen. Until next time, this is Dan from Headwaters Kayak Shop wishing you happy paddling or paddling. We'll see you on the next one.